So, you know, I think that, you know, as we're selling movies, as we're, you know, doing our PR, you know, there's always an infinite number of things that we can do. Um, but I always feel that there's really a finite number of things that we shouldn't be doing. So maybe can we talk a little bit, you know, everyone just kind of jump in, like, you know, what are the top things that, you know, as, you know, people are making their movies, you know, what should they not be doing? I think they should not be sharing it with anybody until it's actually ready. I think that's the worst thing you can do is share your film with, you know, the some people in the public or other, like, maybe buyers, you know, until you really are ready to, to have it out there. Because I've seen, seen that happen where the filmmakers are, like, so excited about, hey, I finished my product and Sony called me and I'm going to send it to to Dylan. And it's like, yeah. dude, yeah, wait. Like the, the intern who yeah. has a list of exactly. phone numbers are supposed yeah. to call and is doing their job called yeah. you and... I think that's the first thing. That's my knee-jerk reaction. I just keep it back until you really have somebody on board. Yeah, that's that's probably my number one is really know what state your film is in. You know, it's like you all, hopefully, you're, if you're part of a community, like you can reach out and show cuts. I mean, we've had, you know, some films where we screened a rough cut to a producer friend or, you know, a, couple, a group of, you know, close friends who could give us real feedback and they can be, you know, painful because you know you want that blunt advice, like what state is this film really in? And if it's not ready, you're not you're doing yourself a favor. It's the same as like going to a festival before the film is ready. You get an invite to Sundance. How can you say no? But some people should have said no because there are there are history of films that weren't really completely finished, and then they had to kind of crawl back from a difficult experience. 